This is the reality for the residents of the village of Afanasivka, who are still dealing with the aftermaths of the Kachovka dam explosion. The wall is all crooked now, everything is sinking down, and I was trying so hard. I had flour over there. I have kids, you know, I would give them flour, I would give them food. And here we are now, everything ruined. Lyudmila lives in Afanasivka, in the Mykolaiv region. This is what's left of her house after the Inhulets river overran its banks after the dam was destroyed. Afanasivka is located about 40 kilometers north of the Dnipro river and the city of Kherson. It is an island town situated in the middle of the Inhulets river, which is a tributary of the Dnipro. When the dam was destroyed, the water levels rose along the Inhulets, covering the bridges and stranding the citizens of Afanasivka. We took rocks out, took food, took what we could, and those people who live over there, their houses were just underwater. And this is the village of Fyodorovka, also on the Nhulets River, but even closer to the Dnipro. Here, more than 60 homes were flooded. The explosion happened on June 6th, and on June 7th, it was all underwater, up to the roof. The UN World Food Program volunteer members, unable to reach the isolated town by land, are using boats to cross the Inhulets River to deliver food and water to the residents of Fyodorovka. So Inglets town, which is that way, mm -hmm. um, the closest road access you have to drive three or four hours round trip around to get assistance to them. Uh, over 350 households affected by the flooding. Locals like Alexander are helping deliver groceries to various houses and neighboring villages on the other side of the river. People need help. Here in Fyodorovka, we have help available, but those who live in villages further that way, they do need assistance. Local authorities in the most affected areas are trying to figure out how they can help those who lost their homes. The water destroyed not just living facilities, but vegetable patches that fed many locals throughout the summer. For Irina Shenkarenka and Andriy Dubchak in Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.